I'm Lawrence Tyndall here at Glidefast Consulting and today I'm going to show you a powerful feature in the hardware asset management application in ServiceNow called Stock Rules. Stock Rules allow you to automatically replenish the stock of assets in your stock rooms when they drop below a defined quantity. This feature is fantastic for ensuring you and your team always have enough assets in stock and aren't caught off guard when fulfilling asset requests. The stock rules feature can automatically replenish stock from another stock room via a transfer order or create a purchase order for the procurement of additional assets from your vendor of choice. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a stock rule for the replenishment of some 15-inch MacBook Pros. Before we get started, I'd like to note that you need the procurement plugin installed in your ServiceNow instance if you would like the stock rules module to generate purchase orders. The first thing you'll want to do is type in stock rules in the application navigator. Click on the stock rules module located under the inventory application. The stock rules list view will now load. Click on the new button. The stock rule form will now load. In the first field, Model, this field allows you to select the model in which this stock rule applies to. In today's example, we're going to select the Apple MacBook Pro 15 inch. Next, we have the Stock Room field. This field enables you to select the stock room in which this rule applies to. For demo purposes, I've created five MacBook Pros and put them in the stock room in the Southern California stock room. In the next field, we have Threshold. This field allows you to define when the restocking gets triggered. In today's example, I'm going to select 5. This means as soon as I change one of the 5 MacBook Pro 15 inches to in use from the Southern California stock room, this stock rule will be triggered. Next, we have the Restocking Option field. From here you can either select Stock Room or Vendor. Selecting stock room will initiate a transfer order when the stock rule is ran and selecting vendor will generate a purchase order for the replenishment of stock. As you can see when I select stock room, a new field called parent stock room displays. This field allows you to select the stock room in which additional assets should automatically be transferred from. In today's example, I've placed 20 MacBook Pro 15 inches in the San Diego South warehouse. And in the final field, Order Size, this field allows you to define how many assets should either be transferred or purchased, depending on your restocking option. I'm going to enter 10, as this is the sufficient amount for the amount of requests we receive. Now that we've completed defining the stock rule, click the Submit button to finish creating it. Now let's see the stock rule in action. For demo purposes, I'm going to set one of the MacBook Pro 15 inches located in the Southern California Warehouse stockroom to in use. This will drop the in stock quantity to 4. Since the stock rule feature is only ran once a day via a scheduled job, we're going to have to go into the scheduled jobs module and manually trigger the scheduled job. To do this, I'm going to open the stock rule runner schedule item and set the next action date to yesterday's date and hit update. This will manually trigger the scheduled item. Now, if we head over to the transfer orders module, we can see that a transfer order has automatically been created from the stock rule and that assets will soon be replenished. And that is all for today's tutorial on stock rules in ServiceNow. Good luck and thanks for watching.